What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. Last week we talked about how Intel is going to transition more into semiconductor equipment manufacturing and that could potentially lead into an increase in the price to earnings that the market would be willing to pay. But how are companies that are in the business are doing right now? So for today's comparison I've picked three names, first is ASML holding, ticker symbol ASML. The price to earnings ratio is now at just over 40, it had a decent year up 16 points percent but on the year to date the price is now down for 19.14%. Second is a US company Applied Materials, ticker symbol AMAT. It has a lower price to earnings at 20.67 and in one year it is decently up for 30.87%, also with a better year to date performance at minus 17.18%. And third name for the comparison is LAM Research, ticker symbol LRCX, an even lower price to earnings at 18.95 though the one-year performance is a bit worse up for 11.90%, going a lot lower this year at minus 22.65%. So these are the three names for the comparison and to make it happen we will be looking into nine different factors. Last four quarter earnings results, annual revenue growth, analyst price targets, forward price to earnings ratio, price to sales ratio, return on equity, cash per share, current ratio and dividend yield. The best company under each factor will get a point so it is possible to have from 0 to 9 points and in the end the stock with the most points will be considered the winner of this comparison. I do understand that it could be tough to sit through the whole analysis so to save time I will edit the results up front for you to take a look into first. So the results for each factor are in and the points are assigned. ASML got the best results in 3 factors, Applied Materials also in 3 and LAM Research in 4. This means that with 4 points LAM Research is considered the winner of this comparison. Now you do have the results but if you are still interested then continue on with the analysis. The first factor for the comparison will be the last 4 quarterly earnings results. When a company reports earnings, they are compared to expectations of analysts. So earnings can either beat expectations, meet them or miss them. We will consider that beating expectations is a plus 1, meeting plus 0 0.5 and missing 0. Then we sum the results up to a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 4. And in the end the stock with the highest sum gets a point for this factor. So these are quarterly earnings for ASML. And Q1 of 2021 beat expectations, Q2 beat, Q3 beat expectations and Q4 beat. So with 4 beat in quarterly earnings we get a sum of 4. Earnings for applied materials and Q1 of 2020 beat expectations, Q2 beat, Q3 beat expectations and Q4 missed. So with 3 beats and 1 miss in quarterly earnings we get a sum of 3. Quarter earnings for LAM research and Q1 of 2020 beat expectations, Q2 beat, Q3 beat expectations and Q4 beat. So with 4 beats in quarterly earnings we again get a sum of 4. Results for the last 4 quarter learnings factor are in the table and with sums of 4 both ASML and LAM research each gets a point. Second factor is the annual revenue growth. As investors we want to find that the revenues of a company are on a steady increase. We will take a look into the results of the 4 most recent years and compare them one by one. If revenue was on the increase from one year to the next we will consider it as a plus 1 and if it was on the decrease it will be a plus 0. Then we sum the results up to a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 3 and in the end the stock with the highest sum gets a point for this factor. So ASML in 2018 brought in 10.94 billion euros, then in 2019 that increased to 11.82 billion, in 2020 that was at 13.98 billion euros, and for 2021 revenue was at 18.61 billion. So with 3 increases in annual revenues we get a sum of 3. Applied materials in 2018 reported 16.7 billion dollars, then 2019 revenue decreased to 14.61 billion, in 2020 there was an increase to 17.2 billion dollars and 2021 another increase to 23.6 billion dollars. So with one decrease and two increases in annual revenues we get a sum of two. LAM research in 2018 brought in 11.08 billion dollars, then in 2019 that decreased to 9.65 billion, in 2020 there was an increase to 10.04 billion dollars and then for 2021 they reported 14 0.63 billion. So with one decrease and two increases in annual revenues we again get a sum of two. Results for the annual revenue growth factor are in the table and with a sum of three ASML gets another point. Factor number three are the analysts price 
price targets. As potential investors, we want to find how far the current share price is away from the average price target of analysts. If the current price is under the average, we will consider the stock as undervalued, and in the end the share which is furthest away from the average analyst price target to the lower side gets a point for this factor. So for ASML we have 8 price targets of analysts, they range from the lows of 720 to the highest of $1030 per share. The average is at $869.44 and the current price is now at $644.97. This shows that the current price needs to go up for 44.8% to reach the average target of analysts. For applied materials we have 33 price targets of analysts, they range from the lows of 119 to the highest of $208 per share. The average is at $173.22 and the current price is at $132.45. So the current price needs to go up for 30.8% to reach the average target of analysts. For LIME research we have 26 price targets of analysts, they range from the lows of 627 to the highest of $869 per share. The average is at $729.85 and the current price is now at $561.14. So the current price needs to go up for 30.1% to reach the average target of analysts. Results for the analyst price targets factor are in the table, and with most room for growth, ASML gets one more point. Factor number 4 is the forward price to earnings ratio. It is calculated by taking the current share price and dividing it by the estimated earnings per share. This is the standard price to earnings calculation with the difference that earnings here are predicted by analysts. So in the end the stock with the lowest forward price to earnings ratio gets a point for this factor. ASML has the forward price to earnings at 44.01. Forward price to earnings for applied materials is at 16.58. And LAM Research has forward price to earnings at 16.98. Forward price to earnings ratios are in the table, and with the lowest value, applied materials gets the first point. Next factor is the price to sales. It is calculated by taking the company's market cap and dividing by the 12, 12 months worth of sales. The formula suggests to be looking for a company with a low market cap and a high result in sales. So in the end, the stock with the lowest price to sales ratio gets a point for this factor. ASML has price to sales at 12.74. Price to sales for applied materials is at 5.4 and LAM Research has price to sales at 5.46. Price to sales ratios are in the table and with the lowest value another point goes to applied materials. Factor number 6 is a return on equity. The percentage here shows how well the company is managed and if money from investors are handled efficiently. So in the end the stock with the highest return on equity percentage gets a point for this factor. ASML has return on equity at 49.01%. Return on equity for applied materials is at 51.5%. 59%. And LAM Research has return on equity at 76.64%. Return on equity percentages are in the table, and with the highest result, LAM Research gets another point. Next factor is the cash per share. The ratio here shows the company's ability to reinvest and expand, or to buy back shares or pay dividends. So in the end the highest cash per share ratio gets a point for this factor. ASML has the cash per share at 18.77. Cash per share for applied materials is at 6.14. And LAM Research has cash per share at 47.99. Cash per share ratios are in the table, and with the highest value a point goes to LAM Research. Factor number 8 is the current ratio. It is calculated by taking the current assets and dividing them by the current liabilities. As investors we want to find that the company is able to cover its debts with assets, but also that they are still actually being leveraged. So in the end the stock with the highest current ratio under 3 gets a point for this factor. ASML has current ratio at 1.48. Current ratio for applied materials is at 2.54. And LAM Research has the current ratio at 3.13. Current ratios are in the table, and with the highest value under 3, a point goes to applied materials. The last factor is the dividend yield. Dividends suggest that the company is sharing profits with shareholders, and that is a great passive income source that we as investors are looking for. So in the end, a stock with the highest dividend yield percentage gets a point for this factor. ASML is paying an annual dividend of $3.96 per share, which is a dividend yield of 0.61%. Shareholders of applied materials are getting $0.96 cents per share, which comes in at a yield of 0.72%, and LAM research pays an annual dividend of $6 per share, which is a yield of 1.07%. Dividend yields are in the table, and with the highest percentage, another point to LAM research.
We can now calculate results, so ASML has 3 points, Applied Materials 3 and LAM Research 4. This means that with 4 points, LAM Research is considered the winner of this comparison. And that was it, if you got value or new ideas, then make sure to leave a thumbs up, it helps the channel a lot. So do you agree with the comparison, which name do you like the most? Share your preferred pick in a comment below. If you would be interested to check what names I am buying, then check my eToro portfolio, that is the first link at the top of the description. Description. And if you want to get notified exactly when I buy or sell any stock, then consider memberships. By becoming a member, you will get access to Discord, where I share my stock watch list and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. This week, I suggested a few winner names for 2022, so if you would be interested in that, then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing y'all in the next one.